Dear friends and also the new viewers of the Tom Photo channel, today I'd like to share my opinion on a finding I made when searching for lighting options for my photo and video work. I stumbled upon an affordable rechargeable LED work light that amazed me. I don't think I'm the first to discover it, but I've been field testing it and now I'd like to share my thoughts with you. But first, where do I need an external light? A proper flash is always more powerful than a lamp. Let's first talk about videography. A small light can be put anywhere in the scene for any artistic purposes. You can also shoot video in dark situations. Scenes in films that appear dark are often filmed in surprisingly strong light. In bright light you can reduce shadows or contrast. You can selectively light a specific part of your scene. And you can apply filters which in this case would be colored plastic or glass, to change the color of your scene. Everything above also applies to photography. A light can be used to enlighten the background of your image, but it matters mostly in long shutter speed situations. This is where even a weak external lighting makes a big difference. A good example is light painting, where you keep your camera shutter open for a long time and then paint the scene by highlighting the areas of interest with your light source. I will release a special video on how I do this. But let's look at the light itself. It had a list price of 50 euro, but I got it on sale for half that price. It's a large palm sized LED light with a foldable metal stand. Feels rather solid and heavy. At 50 watts it's capable of putting out 4000 lumens at about 6000 kelvins, which is the color of overcast daylight. So these lumens are comparable uh, to a strong car headlight. The lamp has two settings using the button, 100% and 50%. It also has a remote control that lets you choose any light output and toggle between some fancy lighting modes, but this is beside the point. What matters more is that it has a rechargeable battery that can be charged via a USB port and also a solar panel that it has on the other side to charge the battery. But what matters most though is that it is IP67 certified, meaning that it doesn't mind moisture or rain. In short, this light is precisely what I need. Most recently I tested it on filming the first snow of the year. The day was a bit gloomy and I wanted the closest branches to shine a bit more, so I brought my light along. I used it at the max setting to add a bit of shine to the most distant trees as well. Also the river appeared a bit too dark next to the snow and the lamp helped to reduce that difference a bit. I also discovered how easy it was to carry it along. I attached it to the belt of my camera bag. It's at the perfect height and already pointing in the right direction as I do my filming. This leaves my hands totally free and I can operate the tripod and camera much better. If I need to raise the light higher, I don't even take it off the camera bag, but simply slide it higher as the light's frame remains on the inside of my camera bag's strap. So I advise you to check out your nearest hardware store before the camera store when you consider getting a light source for your creative work. It could save you a lot of money. Thanks so much for checking out the Tom Photo channel. I hope to see you again in my future and past videos where I talk about photography related matters and share my experience. Have a great day.